showing you some pretty pictures of Capitol Hill, a place which, as you may know, is locked in some ugly partisan gridlock over key issues like the budget and border security. Here's what you may not know. In many state houses across the country, we're seeing what's possible when lawmakers do put election politics aside and reach across the aisle. Nancy Cord has visited the battleground state of North Carolina, where bipartisanship is bringing health care coverage to more than a half a million uninsured people. What did you do? I was like, I, I, I jumped for joy. Sharon Cooper like, got a letter recently that changed her life. Insurance coverage approved after okay, years without so it. You just went to see the doctor for the first time in how long? 10 years. Wow. Yes. What was that like? It was wonderful. Cooper is a former pharmacy manager in Archdale, North Carolina. Without coverage, her $300 a month anti-seizure pills were also out of reach. How were you living your life without that medication? It was hard. I was scared to go out because if somebody sees you have a seizure, you know, they, they freak out. They think, what's wrong with her, you know? But the stroke of a pen changed everything. Last year, North Carolina's Democratic governor signed a law expanding Medicaid coverage, making 600,000 state residents eligible for nearly free health insurance, a bipartisan triumph years in the making. We're adding about 1,000 a day. State Senator Jim Bergen and State Representative Donnie Lambeth are both Republicans with backgrounds in health care. They both started out as skeptics. And how did you feel about the idea of expanding Medicaid in the state? I was personally against it. I was also against it early on. Early on, as in 2010, when the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, offered all states free federal funds to expand Medicaid coverage. Most blue states jumped at the cash, but many southern states held out, including North Carolina. We felt like, you know, is this one of those things that it sounds really good and all of a sudden, oh, we're out of money and it goes away. A decade later, the money was still there. $7.5 billion a year that North Carolina was leaving on the table. I like to say the dollars just make sense. It's hard to turn that down. Cody Kinsley is the state's top health official and a Democrat. But he and Senator Bergen had worked together on other health care issues. Good morning. How are you? They began discussing Medicaid first thing every morning on their daily phone calls. Oh, I guess some of the right members of his team were in the room. To hear when you talk to people and get to know people and develop a relationship people, they, you develop the trust. Because the truth is, is that we all have the same constituents. Whether we're in one party or the other, we're serving the same folks. The two sides worked together to reform the state's Medicaid system and ultimately to expand it. Did you ever think to yourselves, maybe I shouldn't do this because it'll be a victory for the Democratic governor? A few I, times. <laughs> well, I, I heard a lot of people say, oh, I'll get voted out. You know, and I, and I live in rural North Carolina. People have applauded. There has not been anybody that's come to me and said, I'm going to vote against you because of this. They want to see us solve problems and get things done. Kinsley knows what it means for uninsured parents because his mom was one of them when he was young. If I said I don't feel well, she would wrestle with questions of, well, is he really sick or is he really, really, really sick? I want to frame it. With her epilepsy I mean, now under control, Sharon Cooper says she may even be able to go back to work. That's exciting. I know, it's very exciting. I've got joy in my soul again. And lawmakers in the remaining holdout states have taken notice. Mississippi's state legislature passed a Medicaid expansion bill last week, so that's working its way through the system. And Representative Lambeth, who we spoke to in that piece, told us that he's traveled to Georgia to discuss Medicaid expansion with other Republicans there, and he's gotten calls from Wisconsin and Florida as well. I'll tell you, Nate, what's interesting, in North Carolina and in several of these other states, the business community has been a key factor pushing hard for expansion because they argue a healthy workforce is a productive workforce. Right about that. Nancy, thank you. Mm. I say way to go, North Carolina. It's, it's, now I've gotten so desperate to see bipartisanship <laughs> on just about any issue. Yeah. It just makes me happy to see that they can make that they can work something out. And you can't, this is a big deal. Yeah, you can't blame people for voting for policies that fit them. Yeah, but exactly if your candidate right. isn't selected, the next thing you hope for is that they continue to reach across the aisle. Exactly. Work together. Brings work a tear together. to my eye. <laughs> I love it. You're right about that.